Now here we have a page. I remember working on this in print, this map here. I'm going to work with it. And uh, I'm going to show a better resolution of the map so you can see what we're doing. Now, I wasn't totally satisfied with how this worked out in print. Uh, it was a map, but I'm not sure if it was fully clear that what we were saying here is you're going to move along this route during the week. Now, in an interactive version, I could actually show that movement. I could create an animation. That's what I'm going to do. That path there is just a Bezier path that I created in Quark Express. So to work with it, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it week one. So I did that over in my interactive palette. Now in the text box here, why don't I put in a little picture of a boat using a Wingdings font that's going to move along the path. So like before, I did that, put a glyph in. Now what I need to do is give this box a name so I can work with it. I'm just going to call it boat. All right. Now, in this case, I'm going to say this is not just your basic object. It's an animation. And you see what happened now? I get a whole host of new questions. So it's going to say it's going to run on a path. Which path? I'll choose week one. And I, and I typed in, I wanted to take three seconds to do it. I could do this to run automatically when I enter the page or a button. Or just make it easy. When you click on the boat, it's going to play. All right. I'm done. So let's preview this page. I can preview just one page at a time. It might be a bit quicker. So I'll do that um, Click in here over my menu. I'll choose preview just the page using my context menu there. Flash player is going to open as before. Here's the page. And all I got to do in this case is click on the little guy. And there he is. He runs along the path. Very clear. Much clearer even in the print version. That's one of the beauties of the interactive format. The last thing I want to do is to really leverage the content of video that I have. I want to actually show people the tour. I don't want to put it right on top of the page. This layout looks good. I want it to appear for people when they want to see that video. So I'm going to create a video player.